Hello everyone, how are you doing today? I'm back with another video and in today's video we have a Dell Latitude laptop. This one is a Dell Latitude E6440 also known as an in Dell P38G and the model P38G it's uh, just a regulatory model which you can find it under the battery by removing the battery and it will stay right over there. It will say reg which means regulatory model P38G and in this video what I'm going to do I'm going to show you guys how to upgrade and how to speed up your laptop. Uh, this laptop they do come in an iCore 5 or iCore 7 processors depending the which model you have but they do include a mechanical hard drive in there which mechanical drives are good but they are not as fast as a solid state drive. So I really highly recommend you guys to grab one of the solid state drives and I'll leave the link in the description for a few of these uh, solid state drives. You can get the cheap brands as a Kingston or a Adata or you can get one of the best brands which are the Samsungs. The Samsungs are way better because they give you longer uh, lifetime span than these Kingston ones. And pretty much what you want to do, you want to swipe the hard drives apart. I will highly recommend you to do a fresh install of Windows when you swipe from the mechanical drive to a solid state drive. You can do a cloning from the mechanical drive to a solid state drive, but it's not that recommended as the architecture of the files on the system that is being recorded on a solid state drive is much different than mechanical drive. In order, once you have the hard drive in there, it's really easy to install the operating system. I made a video how to burn your Windows image in a USB drive and how to boot it up. I'll leave that link in the description. All right, so first thing first, you want to power off the laptop completely. Make sure the power is off and you want to grab yourself a screwdriver set. I use the iFixit tool set as they have one of the best tool sets out there. And we're going to be using a Philips number one from this tool set. By the way, these tool sets, the bits are made out of the S2 class steel, which means they will last you a very long time comparing to the other brand. So on the bottom of the laptop, you have two choices. You want to remove the battery or leave it there. It doesn't make any difference. But if you want to remove it, just pull these two triggers apart and lift out the battery from the back side. If you don't, it's fine too. To remove the hard drive, you want to remove this screw and this screw in the corner. So remove these two screws. and just put your finger right here and pull this tray out and you will have your uh, mechanical drive just uh, coming out of here. This tray has a little rubber uh, holdings here and has a one screw only on one side. On that side there's nothing in here. There's a little tiny clip that goes in. So we want to make sure first before we remove it. So we took it on this way. Okay. Remember the SATA port is here and the power port is right over here. The SSD drive has to be the same thing. So do not put it that way around. Otherwise it's going to be flipped over the connectors. So what do we need to do is to remove the caddy and the rubbers and place it on the new one. So all you want to do is to remove these tiny screws from here and lift it up and pull it to one side. Also grab this one, bring it here. Coordinate it nicely. Grab the other one, put this one to one side for now. Really dusty. Put that one in there. Grab the jack, make sure this tiny pin here, it goes through the hard drive. Bring it over. Make sure the screw holds aligned. Grab the screw that you removed. And Place it right over there. Now what you want to do, you want to grab it and just slide it in there. Just move it around, it will go through. And then push it right through. Now you have the new hard drive in there. As soon as you boot up the laptop, it's going to say there's no media. That means there's no Windows installed in here. So go through my other link that I show you guys how to burn the Windows in the USB. All you need to do is plug in the USB. When you boot it up, keep tapping on F12. It will get you to through the 
uh, boot menu then you want to choose the windows uh, option and then you just gonna go follow the uh, instruction and you have your windows installed within five ten minutes i hope you guys like this video and helped you guys out if you did please click the like button if you need have any requests leave them in the comment area and i'll try to answer them as soon as i can thanks for watching and i'll see you guys in my next video